Hey guys, I just want to make another real quick video uh, about using hotkeys in Weeble. And I found this to be the best way to use them to scale out of positions when you're scalping. So you're going to click this little gear icon and you really just need to at least have these three buttons set up. The buy ask button, set it to limit, quantity 10%. That will put 10% of your account into the trade. So depending on your account size, uh, it's going to adjust the amount automatically. But this way, if you trade just every single time you take a trade, you only trade with 10%, you're keeping your, your risk management the same on every trade. So no one trade is going to make or break you. The limit offset, uh, I would set it to one or maybe two cents at the most. And that just allows you, if you're trying to catch a breakout, uh, it gives you a little wiggle room. Let's say the stock, your your buy price is, okay, if it breaks the $6 mark, as soon as I see 601, I'm going to buy in. And it hits 601 and then 602, like in an instant. Um, if you don't have this plus one cent, you, you might not get filled. So even two cents might be uh, a good good thing to try. And then uh, good to cancel and extended hours you want selected yes and this will allow you to trade in the pre-market if that's what you want to do if you only want to trade during the day you can do this but um, I like to trade in the pre-market and during the day so I have it set like this all the time this this is the only setting that works no matter what pre-market intraday and aftermarket and then your hotkeys this might be blank when you pull this up so you have to figure out which keys that you want to use to trigger the buy order. I like Control Z, and you you once that cursor's in there, you just press Control Z on your keyboard. It automatically pops up in here, and then you would click Done, and it will it will save it. Uh, but let's go on and put the next uh, uh, set up the next button. So this is the this is to scale out, sell 50% of your shares. So we still want the limit the order type to be limit. That's the only type of order that works pre market and intraday. Um, there's a lot more types of orders that work intraday, but um, this was the only one that works in both. So the limit should be the default. Quantity 50%, that means that you're going to sell out 50% of the shares that you own. If you have 10 shares, it's going to sell five for you. I like to have it set up like that so that I can get out on the first pop. With get out, I should say sell half of my shares on the first pop and then hold half to see what happens. If it comes all the way back down to my break even price, then I get out. But if it continues to rise, I still have half my shares and I can just follow it up. Same thing here, the limit offset at one cent. This one you can keep a little tighter, I think, um, because generally once the pops already happened, it's not moving quite as, as quickly. So one cent is plenty there. Same thing here. You got These have to match your buy order, and then that's the key set that I use. Let's say it's not there. Press Alt Z on the keyboard, pops up, and now I'm good to go. And I didn't hit done between the the last one, but you can see it's still there. So it kind of saves it as you go along. And then this is to get this button set up. Again, limit order quantity 100%. This sells all of your shares. So if you scaled out you had 10 shares and then you sold five and you still have five left, you have to hit this button and you can hit the hotkey. <coughs> Excuse me. You hit the hotkey or the button right here to sell out the remaining shares. If you hit the sell 50% again, if you had, well, let's use the example of uh, if you originally had 12 shares, just so the math sees here, 12 shares, you scale, scale out, so you sell six shares, you still have six left. If you hit that sell 50% again, you're still going to have three shares in the stock. So uh, unless that's what you intend to do, um, you have to hit the sell 100%. So no matter how many shares you have or how many times you've scaled out, the only way to get rid of all of the remaining shares is to hit the sell 100% button or hotkey. You can also do that right from the get-go. Let's say you buy 12 shares and then the stock immediately starts to go against you and you want to get out, you just hit that sell 100% and it'll take all your shares out. So that's how you set up the hotkeys. Oh, and then the other thing that's really important is having, again, this is if you're a little bit more experienced and you know exactly when you want to get in, you don't want any kind of uh, nannies set up to where it asks you, are you sure you want to buy this? Are you sure you want to sell this? When you're a scalper, that kind of stuff could lose you a lot of money because it slows you down. So um, have the auto send selected, and then it won't 
ask you, are you sure you want to make this trade? It, it'll just put you in or take you out. And the fills are like within a second, sometimes as much as two seconds. They're very, very fast. So um, you can definitely scalp using that. But it won't be a second or two if you don't have the auto send selected. So make sure you do that. The other two buttons here, I don't think I have them linked to hotkeys. I rarely use them, but cancel all would just cancel any pending orders that you have. I don't have any in right now, so that's why you see that no sign. And then uh, close is kind of like a, a variation on the sell 100%, but I, I just prefer this setup here, these three buttons. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think, and good luck trading.